Okay, guys, look what came. Hara Black, my favorite subscription box. And there we go. Cool looking little box there. I love this box. Boo, 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 boo. Ooh, look at the, the box itself. I don't know if it's different every time. I think it is. I just, I really like Horror Block. Okay, Horror Block is an affiliate of Nerd Block. Nerd Block is in your description box down below. It says Horror Block right there. My code thing is under it. Click it and go get yourself a box. Oh, I see two soft things in here. One might wind up going to Richie, but the shirts always go to me. So here's the shirt. Let's see, what is this? It is a weird pirate-themed shirt. Mm, yep, I'm not getting it. Nope. Cool shirt, but I don't get it. <laughs> I guess I'll get it later. Then we have a beanie. <gasps> oh, it's a Silence of the Lambs beanie. Nope, Richie, I think this one's mine. It's huge, though, so it might actually go to Richie. But, and it's loaded in fuzz. Harbach, what the hell is all this shit? You couldn't have dusted it? Come on, guys. Really? Really? Anyhow, it's it's awesome. Definitely awesome. Look, Rich. Signs of the Lambs. Okay, then we have the pin. Let's see. Hmm. Nope, not getting the reference. Maybe it's got something to do with Jaws. Uh, not getting the reference. Oh, are you guys getting the reference? I'm not really getting the reference. Could be Jaws. You know, Teeth Mark. Amity Island Swim Club. I don't know. Next, we have Camp Crystal Lake Air Freshener. Okay, so I guess we got two clothing items, so we're getting... Some cheapies. This is a pine air freshener of Jason. Um, I don't have a car, so this is kind of like useless for me, but it's a cool little memorabilia little thingy there. You don't really see these that often. Um, I guess this is the company where it came from. Oops. But you know something? It's a cool idea. I like the idea. All right, then we obviously have, don't tell me this is a box of crayons. Resident Evil 20th Anniversary. Hmm. Replica of something. It's a Nerd Block exclusive item, so that you can't really get these anywhere. You have to actually be subscribed to Nerd Block to get it. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my god, it's the badge. It's his badge. Raccoon City. Now this, I like. Okay, let's push it back up into the plastic here. This I like. I like this a lot. This is definitely going to look good on my little horror bookshelf. I have to get the house decorated so I can show you guys all the cool stuff. Matter of fact, I'll leave them outside the box till the video is over. That is cool. All right, now before we get to whatever's in this box here, let's go through our Remorgue magazine. Oh, this is a different type of Remorgue magazine here. Remorgue magazine, authorized fandom fill. Let's see. Ooh. I am a massive Hellraiser fan. I always have been. I absolutely loved the It doll. I thought that was so freaking cool. I want the uh, Camp Crystal Lake hat so bad. I so badly want that hat. Alright, so here we go. This is the Rue Morgue magazine, which is not a magazine. It's actually a book this time around. Very, very impressed. Very impressed. Okay, so, last month, I assumed from other YouTubers that it was January's box. Actually, this, that it was, that last month's was December's box. This one is January's box. 
So this is January's horror block box. I will read that later. Um, they always give us a sneak peek at next month's. I guess we have a Valentine that we can use for... for see, this is what makes me think it's February's box, but it's not. Because when I spoke to Nerd Block, they said, no, you were dealing with December's box with the Freddy flask in it. This one is January's box. But then they give you something for Valentine's Day. So confuse the shit out of us. Okay. Here we have the kind of cheat sheet of what is in your box. All right. It's the mummy shirt? Okay, so it's a mummy shirt. Uh, yeah, got this in last month's box. So I'm not too sure that... Oh, no. Oh, I gotta get in this bad boy. I just saw what it was. Did you guys see what it was? Oh, my God. Oh, we gotta get in it. We gotta get in it. We gotta get in it. I am so excited right now. It is so right up my alley. Okay, okay, okay. Check this bad boy out, guys. Oh, look! It is amazing! I love it! It's the jar glass. I love the jar style glasses. Always have loved them. Wanted to get an entire set of them. But the fact that it has the poison symbol on it, established in 1915, oh man. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Oh, well, thanks, China. Absolutely loving this. So this is definitely the prize point for me. I definitely love this cup. I am loving the Raccoon City limited edition badge. I think that's going to be a nice touch. Okay. The air freshener is kind of like a eh. But I got to say, the glass makes my day. Okay, so we have the glass. We have the air freshener. We have a... Bloody Valentine, Valentine's Day card, and if you have not seen the movie, you should check it out. It's kind of a stupid, spoofy horror flick. It was better done when it was done in the 70s, or was it the 80s? I'm not sure. And they remade it. We have the badge, which is really freaking cool and going to look really, really nice. Get back in there. Get, get in. Okay, so the 20th anniversary Resident Evil badge, definitely cool item. We have the pin, which I'm lost on the reference to this. If you know what it is down in the comments, please let me know. It's probably something extremely simple, and I just can't pinpoint it. I, I don't know. I probably will know it as soon as somebody says it and think, oh my god, what an idiot. <laughs> we have here the Silence of the Lamb beanie. Very cool, very cool. But no look into next month, unless it is inside the pamphlet. Here is everything that we received, the My Bloody Valentine card, the Jason Mass Air Freshener, Room World Magazine, they messed up on the printing here, this was last month's magazine, which should have been in this box, but instead we got that. Okay, Amity Island Pin. No, no, no. Nope, not getting it. And then we have the mummy t-shirt. Um, I don't know. I'm not really getting the mummy t-shirt. Okay, here is Marvel vs. DC. I believe Nerdblock is putting out a Marvel vs. DC box. Uh, oh, this is a doppelganger. If you don't know what a doppelganger is, it's the opposites. It's your, it's your opposite. Like, there's good Superman and there's bad Superman type deal. Wow, I wish I could turn the page and make this happen a lot easier. So here are the other type of nerd blocks. They have ones for little boys. They have ones for little girls. You know, they're age appropriate. Um, they have horror block. They have um, comic ones. They have one that's all clothing. Um, all kinds of, like, you know, different stuff and everything. They're cool. I really, really, really get a kick out of them. Here is the Freddy Krueger's. Oh, this is all the movies. Oh, shit. This movie, this one. I forget which number this is. Three. Okay, so this one scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Because this kid looked like my brother. And when I was young, I was sleeping over at my friend's house. My friend Jennifer Paradis. And, uh... 
this movie was on. We were watching it real late at night. We borrowed it from her uncle, a DVD or something. I think it was a VHS, actually, back then. And I watched this, and the next morning I had to actually call home to hear my brother's voice because I swore to God that, you know, it was my brother, like, because he looked just like him. I was so freaked out. I was like an 11-year-old kid. And here you have it. These are all the people. All the stuff. All the shirts. Things like that. Greetings from Nerdblock. Nerdblock's awesome because there's something for everybody. They have sci-fi block, horror block. What's in the January horror block? So this one is indeed January. But no signs of what next month is going to be. Or what's going to be in next month. Nothing. Nothing else in the box. Wait, wait, wait. There is... Oh, this is just a shirt punch card. Um, they have this thing. It's like a $10 credit on a shirt punch type box thing. If you order that box. I don't know if I'm ever going to order it. I doubt it. Who knows? But I think we got some pretty cool shit this month. I think the glass sealed the deal for me. I'm real happy with it. I'm about to go wash it and fill it up right now. Fuzz just went past. Woo. So I am pretty pleased. I am really liking it. So, let me know what your thoughts are on January's horror block. If you received the horror block, let me know. And let me know if you use, what was your selling point. What was the thing that you liked the most. I gotta say the cup and the silence of the lamb hat are definitely pluses for me. I'm definitely happy in that area. Um, the shirt, eh, I'll probably give it to Richie. <laughs> I'll, make, I'll make Richie a trade. I'll keep the silence of the lamb beanie. He can have the shirt. This thing is humongous, though. So, I mean, thank God I have a big head, you know? <laughs> I'm definitely a biggin. But uh, love yous all. Hope you enjoyed the horror box unveiling here. And if you want to go ahead and order yourselves a nerd block, or even just check out the website, breeze through, see what's there, see if maybe there's a box that you might enjoy, the description box down below actually gives you the link straight to it. Just push the button, hit the uh, link down there, the one that says horror block, and you go right along through and check everything out. Nerdblock is an awesome company. And I am a real big fan. I gotta tell you, I, I can't believe they actually have a horror themed subscription box. So right up my alley. Makes me very, very happy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy seeing next month as well, because I can't wait for February's to come through. Um, who knows? Maybe it'll be something that has to do with my bloody Valentine, since we got the Be Mine Valentine card. Um, I do miss that they did not put in what next month is going to be. I really like seeing that. So, love you all. Um, subscribe if you would like to. Thank you for viewing. And let me know in the comments down below if you receive any one of the nerd blocks. What was your favorite item in the box? And, uh, I don't know. If, if you're looking forward to getting one, if you want to try it out. Um, I can't tell you exactly how much it costs, but uh, I believe it's cheaper than Loot Crate. And all the rest. I think this is only $19.99 and then you pay shipping. I believe that's how this one works. It's $20 and then you pay the shipping. Love you all. Talk to you soon. Have a good night, guys.